Hello fellow inkers, my name is Terry Jones and I am going to talk, do a demonstration of painting this turtle on a piece of Duralar paper. Um, why I love Duralar is that you can actually see through it. So as you can see, I've taken a rendering of this turtle and I've put it underneath the Duralar. This is a painting that I had painted many years ago of a turtle I met in Christmas Cove in the U.S. Virgin Islands. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sunshine yellow, put it in a palette, and then I will take it and basically use it as the base for the entire turtle. I want a nice warm turtle. You can see me gently laying in some color here. This is going to, this is an under color, so I'm not really worried about it a lot. I may take a little use a brush to take a little bit out that I uh, felt got too far into the painting. And again, checking the picture again, I'm looking at the reds and greens. So the first thing that I will do is I will take a little bit of green and I will put some green in the areas that I see the green. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm kind of paying attention to the patchwork effect of the turtle's shell. Um, I'll be Slipping between the red and the green, I think I used sienna and lettuce, and letting some of the yellow show through, and letting it all mingle with the yellow to manage to get this uh, the shell. Now I took a little bit of a deep purple to make that line so I could identify where the edge of the shell was on the turtle. And as you can see, I'm basically just mingling the colors together using the purple and a brown to or the purple and a little bit of the red which makes a brown to kind of pick out some details. Um, I work back and forth. I try to keep most of my spaces dry um, because I do want that space in between to show. I want it to look like there's the shell of a turtle. And um, as you can see I'm gently placing some dots in and that's the the other leg of the turtle that I'm working with. And um, so it's it's a process, adding more, more ink to places, working slowly, trying to kind of come to where I want everything to be. Um, and now what I decided to do is I wanted to see what the colors really looked like. So I pulled off the reference photo and now I'm just looking at working with the colors themselves. I'm darkening in places that it needs to be darkened. I'm using a purple for that and I am just looking on the whole painting and seeing what more needs to be done. Darkening more of the little dotty legs, the reptilian skin, putting more green in I'll also put some more of the red in. And I'm, I, I'm looking for a richness. So right now I'm checking from the original and trying to see where the eyes are so that I can get a little better orientation for this dude and kind of working on the head. The head's the kind of the what really makes the most difference with the turtles. Um, this is a hawksbill turtle. You'll see it has a kind of a weird little nose. I'm working on, on doing that. It actually has a little bill, um, almost like a duck's bill. And um, I'm working on the shaded areas, just gently getting some more color in. I use the color in the palette because it is thicker it's not I'm not putting um, I'm not put, putting down a lot of color that are run here I've used a sharpie to kind of do a little more definition of my uh, the eyes of the turtle and I'm using a fantastic to clean out around the edges so I tried a little bit of a of an orange sharpie it didn't really work and then I decided that I try to just make some deeper orange colors, more colors around the entire 
an entire little critter. Darkening, 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 making, you know, lots of layers will let your color get really rich, which is what I'm trying to do here, is lots and lots of layers. Putting in, this is botanical, working on darkening some of my greens. Um, the hawksbill tends to have a kind of a, a greeny shell um, with all of the other colors that are in it. But that's algae, the little fish that's going to be following this dude actually um, eats the algae off of the turtle's shell. And again, darkening, darkening, darkening. I keep on working in layers. Once a layer is dry, I can put another, another dab of color on top of it. And so it allows me a lot of freedom in, in painting because I just can keep on doing it um, until I'm happy with it. Now, I went and got myself a yellow Sharpie <clears throat> because I want to clean out the areas of the shell. And this, you can see me working with the Sharpie and then cleaning off the tip and working with the Sharpie and cleaning off the tip again. You could do this with a brush, but it's much easier to do with an alcohol ink marker or a Sharpie. This is not a fine, this is a regular Sharpie, not one of the ultra fine um, Sharpies. And I like the color on the turtle. So I'm putting a little more details in its legs. Um, I want to put a little shadow on its bill there. And uh, now I'm working with the shadows again. You can see I took a purple color for that working with a little of the black to kind of bring in some details. Highlighting, getting uh, more of the details to work for me. I'll actually use it on the back of the shell to make some the darkest darks. Um, I, I like just kind of picking out places for darks and just kind of working around with a, with a black sharpie. It really defined the little turtle a little more. So now I'm going to work on the background. And what I'm using is uh, I'm using sailboat blue and I'm using pool. And I'm using a fantastic brush. And what this literally does is it's a very soft sponge-like material. And as you can see, I can get really close to my turtle without really um, having it deform in any way from the alcohol inks. So I keep on working in here, getting as close as I can, and uh, working my blues around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften the blues. I take a little bit of alcohol on a, um, a paper towel, and what I'm doing is just giving just enough where it's literally just softening all of the blues together. Getting rid of all of those hard lines. You really don't want hard lines unless they're like kelp or something. You want and you don't want to you don't want to stamp next to the turtle because it'll end up the turtle itself will run. But so now I'm checking and seeing where I'm going to want to go with a with a mat and putting in the bottom. That's lettuce and that's botanical and I'm going to just play with the ideas of some sea grasses here. Um, it's important to take a piece or two and actually run over the turtle so it doesn't look like he's just kind of stuck there. But um, putting some purple in here to give it another another color. I'll actually put some probably red in here later too. Using the yellow Sharpie again to get some lighter colors coming through. And so far I'm really liking it. Um, I'm using my, my little brush to get some more depth of color around the turtle. This just has a little bit of the blue on it. Now I decided I want a little more color in my in the bottom. I love there's always surprise reds 
in, in the tropics and the, down by the sand. And uh, putting a little fish in here. This is called a tang. And uh, I'm going to, I just kind of gave a general shape and then I'm filling it in with, with, with the color. You know, the, um, I decided to try to put a couple other fish in here. Why not? They're in with the, with the little turtle there. And I'm giving the face a little more depth, a little more color, cleaning it out. I didn't like what I did there, so I don't know how to fix it. Back and forth and back and forth. Now I'm just doing a little sprinkle of alcohol everywhere to give it the feeling of some bubbles.